Hey there, Auntie Jojo. At the sound of my friend's voice, I popped up from the counter where I'd been icing some sugar cookies. I practically squealed in delight at the sight of Lindsay Black and her infant daughter, Cheyenne. I quickly washed my hands while cooing at the adorable little baby, then held them out. Gimme. Lindsay laughed and gently transferred the little one into my arms. She's getting so big, I marveled. Cheyenne was only three months old, and she was growing like a weed, just like Serena and Adan, her older siblings. They all have Colton's genes, Lindsay remarked, referring to her husband. How have things been today? Busy. I was working a shift at Lindsay's Bakery, sweet and savory, as a favor because the manager, Felicia, was out of town and Lindsay's babysitter called in sick. Luckily, her best friend, me, was a former employee and knew how to steer the ship. I'd worked at the bakery throughout college, including grad school. When I earned my Ph.D., I scaled back my hours during my postdoctoral program, then stopped working there altogether when I passed all the exams and earned my license to be a clinical psychologist. However, I still took a shift here and there when Lindsay was in a jam, and sometimes just for fun because I loved it there. The atmosphere in the shop was cheery with its mint green, pink, and yellow decor. It resembled a candy and soda shop from the 1950s, including a counter lined with stools and little tables near an enormous picture window. I loved the people who worked there, too, so it was often a breath of fresh air, something I needed from time to time because my work could be very intense, especially on the nights when I volunteered at the VA, running a therapy group for vets who suffered from PTSD. It was incredibly rewarding, though, and I loved what I did. How's Quill? I made a face at Cheyenne as I naturally swayed from side to side. Then I looked at my friend and smiled. He's doing really well. I've been so proud of him for sticking with therapy and working through his issues. He even found a job in medical research and will start next week. My brother, Quill, had been a first lieutenant in the army, a ranger. He'd gone to school while on active duty and gained a medical degree with a minor in chemistry so he'd naturally been tasked as a medic. Eventually, he'd hoped to get into medical research, 